All right. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Kelly is back with us. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Um, we have Hawaiian barbecue today. We got chicken katsu, and I got mine with curry. And yeah, so today we are talking about our miscarriage stories and experiences. So just let you know if you have, if you're triggered by that and don't want to talk about it, like don't watch this video. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. And if you are going through it, um, our hearts go out to you. You're not and, alone. Yeah, you're not alone. But um, so yeah, so that's what we're going to talk about today is our own experiences with our own miscarriages. And we're going to eat and I want to eat a little bit before. Let's eat. Okay. And we have our seltzers with cherry vodka. Cheers. Cheers. Because <laughs> girl, we need to drink before this video. I for real though. <laughs> you know what? When it's kind of heavy matter, you got to keep it light <laughs> yeah. with the Bud Light. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Sometimes I can pull it together. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Yes, we have seltzers too. We're double fisted. Okay. <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> No. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay, so I didn't get any teriyaki sauce. Did you want that? Oh, no. Okay, good. So I just got the katsu sauce. And it comes with lime. That's so cool. I never had it come with lime before. They were just feeling a little bit generous. <laughs> and they were like, you know what? You need some citrus. <laughs> <laughs> they're th maybe they thought we were going to have like a margarita. And they maybe. were like, you know what, girl? We got you. <laughs> the lime. <laughs> Here it is, <laughs> Usually we go to like so, Ono, but this is way better. Is that where you got it from last oh, time? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Where is that from? Is it far? Is it a couple miles it's away? It's in, um, by my mom. Oh, okay. Cool. Not that, not super far. Yeah. Far enough, but this is like right by you. Yeah, that's kind of nice. I never, I kind of forget about it too. I know, right? I always eat this first, the macaroni sauce. Oh, really? Oh. I always like mix it in with a bunch of shit. It's so good. The sriracha and katsu sauce. Katsu sauce, yep. There's a dog by me, so that's Shadow. where I'm looking. I kind of like to dip it in yes. So good. Yeah, and I have more sriracha if you need it. That sriracha. <laughs> <laughs> so good. There's so much in here. I can't believe how much. Like, I know. There's so much. Like, it's like you can't two layers it. of chicken. Yeah, normally it's. Oh god. Oh god. Their katsu sauce is so good. It's delicious. We're gonna have curry. Mm. You want to try the curry? Can I pour a little just on, yeah. on like a strip? On a strip? On a chicken it's, strip? Just gonna pour a little on. Ooh. Is it? Is it what? It's okay. Is it okay? Okay. Um, Ono oh, used to have curry sauce, but. It wasn't as. I asked, I said, do you have curry? Because, like, I didn't really see it on the menu. Oh, before. really? Yeah. And so I was like, do you have curry sauce? She's like, oh, yeah, you can get that on the side. I was like, okay. Their katsu tastes more like barbecue. It's like a barbecue. Like a sweet sauce. Yeah. It's like something else I've had before, but I can't think of it. Yeah, there's like two scoops of rice in here. Like, mm. so good. I was like, we tore off the lids. I was like, if you need Tupperware, it's fine. I won't need Tupperware. <laughs> I ate once today. <laughs> it's so good. I was like, I hope they don't close at like 7. September's had um, their tables outside. A lot of restaurants have like tables outside. There's another restaurant nearby that has like a giant tent in the parking mm -hmm. lot. I'm like, I, walk, I drove by a Denny's today. Uh -huh. and they had Easy Ups and just folding tables and chairs and i was like how ghetto like you better discount your freaking i doubt it too i bet you it's more expensive i don't know i don't know i wouldn't want to go sit in an easy up or a tent mm -mm. like it's so hot just get it to go mm -hmm. oh. or don't do it at all yeah mm. this is so good we're just hungry. Sorry. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I came Sorry. later than I was supposed to, and so I was like, up. "I did though." She's like, "Oh my god, Kelly, <laughs> are you gonna feed me, girl?" And I was like, "I, I I'm coming in for my brothers. Sorry." <laughs> so yeah, so we're a little hungry. Mm -hmm. Wait, you just had lunch today? A sandwich. They call me some wheat. Wait, I'm I've seen that video <laughs> at home. Mom. I like it. I liked your last one you did too. <laughs> yeah, 
That burp, though. <laughs> classic. <laughs> Classy and classic. <laughs> Double C. <laughs> okay. All right. Getting to the story time. Mm -hmm. Um. So, yeah. Um. I don't even know how to start the story. Maybe, like how you maybe like found out you like when you found out you were pregnant yeah. kind of that maybe like so we moved back from arizona obviously my husband and i and we're living with his parents for a little bit just to like transition like find jobs and stuff and um shadow <laughs> he's like under the table um and we weren't like trying but it just happened and i was late and i took a pregnancy test it was a weekend and i walked in the room and i was like dude he was like, what? I was like, I'm pregnant. I was like, oh my God. We're so excited because we want kids. And that's why we moved back to be with family and stuff. And so, so excited. And, you know, everything was normal. And I had to tell people at work because my work can be kind of violent just because of the who we work with. I work with kids like individuals with autism. And sometimes they can be aggressive and stuff so to be safe mm -hmm. like especially in my position mm -hmm. i was a behavior specialist so i was always called to like behavior crisis so i had to like step in and like help him with the restraints and stuff like that very physical she'd show me like look i got bit or i had to mm -hmm. run into the street and i was always like oh my god girl i'm worried about you <laughs> it's like obviously it's a much needed job it was just always always like girl yeah so yeah that makes sense so you have to tell like you don't have to tell but to be safe especially in my first pregnancy like i was so excited like i didn't yeah. want anything to happen so i told another behaviorist and like my manager or whatever and then it was about like 10 weeks I started having like cramps oh oh <laughs> mm. did you go to like that checkup and like did they show you like an ultrasound ever yeah so like i had like wait the first one i don't think i did and so they don't see you until like eight weeks. Yeah, it was like eight weeks. I went. God, what did they even do? We actually saw Katie there, my friend Katie. Oh, you did? Yeah, she was pregnant too. How funny. Um, and they just, I think they confirmed it with like a blood test. I don't remember. I think they did a um, like not a normal ultrasound, but like, like the transvaginal one. Yeah, so that yeah. way they can see, they can like verify that there was like a heartbeat. I yeah. Think. You can't see much at eight weeks. Yeah. But I think that's what I... Yeah. So that's probably what they did. I don't think I... I don't think they ever saw a heartbeat because it was too early. So then around 10 and a half, 11 weeks, probably 10 and a half, I told you that I was like, dude, I just want to announce. Like, I just really want to tell everybody. And so on... And I'm a very open person. So on Facebook, I posted like, hey, we're expecting... Mm -hmm, I remember. Like, we took pictures like right over there. I posted, everyone's so excited for me. We had been married two, a year and a half. It's great timing. Yeah. Well, we announced on like a Saturday, Sunday, something like that. Go to work Monday. My like, dude, I'm like having cramps, what the hell? And I was kind of like spotting. So I'd go to the bathroom and wipe and be like, what the hell? So the coworkers that I told, I was like, Dude, like, I'm, like, spotting, but she's never been pregnant before. She can't have kids, unfortunately. Um, and she was like, that's weird. Like, maybe just call your doctor. So I called. I was like, you know, that's normal. That happens. It's fine. Like, don't worry about it. Especially in the beginning. Yeah. Because you're growing, you know. Okay. But then Tuesday, Wednesday, I was like, dude, this, like, really hurts. Like, I thought I was starting my period. I was like, what the heck? And, like, in back in my head, I was just like, no, this can't be right. Something's not right. Yeah. And then I would talk to my friend who's like, at the time, my best friend, was a doula. She was like, no, it's totally fine. Like, don't worry about it. Don't think too much about it. And don't Google. Mm -hmm. well, of course I Google. Of course, everyone Googles, <laughs> no matter what you have. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And so, Wednesday, I'm driving home, and it's really weird. Right when I, because I always drive by my mom's home, mom's house mm -hmm. on the way home. I was like, dude, I have really bad cramps. Like, I can feel it. And, like, I, right when I passed her house, I was like, I don't feel good. 
So I text my husband, he's at work, and I'm like, dude, like, I'm not feeling right. Things are weird. Um, just like, I'm kind of concerned. I feel like we should go to the hospital. He was like, well, don't worry about it. And like, my friend was like, no, yeah. like, it's fine. Yeah. Like, it's just normal. <clears throat> A lot of people bleed in the first trimester, it's fine. So like, I went to the bath, I kept going to the bathroom. Cause I was just like, a checking and checking and checking. Yeah. I'm like, what is on the toilet paper? Like the color of it, like everything. You just think about everything. Yeah, of course. And then it was like five o'clock, he gets off at six. And I was like bleeding heavily. And I was like, this ain't right, yo. <laughs> and then finally I went to the bathroom and like, I felt like a gush. Mm -hmm. And I called my best friend who was a doula and I was like crying. I'm like, I am really bleeding. Like, this is not right. And I was like, I'm losing this baby. Like, I was, I remember like screaming. I literally, oh my God. this might be a team of mine. I know we're eating. This is bad because we're eating. I don't think so. <laughs> True fans, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't think so. I've heard worse. I'll turn my Oh. Um, like, I pulled my pants and like blood was everywhere. But it just like came out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm sitting, I'm like trying to like catch all this blood. Like, it was just insane. So I emailed my husband because he can't answer his phone. I emailed his work email. I'm like, come home right now. We have to go to the hospital. He's like, okay, shit. Okay, I'm coming. So he comes home. He walks in the door, and I'm like in the bathroom sobbing because I know what's happening. And he was like, oh my god, let's go. So I'm like, grab me towels. Like, like get the black towel so people don't see it because you have to go wait in the it's waiting room it's yeah, so it's embarrassing it's very yeah traumatic yeah very dramatic so much blood so i wrap myself in a towel i know the jeans i was wearing i still have them oh, yeah. i won't get rid of them yeah. um <laughs> so wrap myself in towels get in the car and go to the hospital thankfully the hospital isn't far but the whole way I'm crying and saying this isn't happening this is not happening I'm not losing my baby yeah because it's hard to believe especially at that time frame because you're almost in the I safe zone in yeah I was in yeah yeah because I we were about the same time frame but yeah like, it was like 11 weeks like a couple yeah days. you're almost you're like okay well I'm good mm -hmm. you think you're good so anyways yeah, because, like, 12 weeks is, like, so, yeah, safe. so you tell yourself, like, no, 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 maybe it's still spotty, even though you know. You're I still, know. like, telling yourself, like... I was like, this is normal. No, it's totally this fine. isn't happening. Like, it's, it's not... denial. Yeah. It's real. <laughs> oh, my God. But, Heath was silent the whole way. And I'm like, please, God, our baby, our baby, like, please don't, like, I cannot... This is not right, like, I need this baby. Get to the hospital, we wait in the waiting room. Like an hour. Mm -hmm. As I'm bleeding out my fucking vagina. I know. Yeah. And I'm like, these people are probably looking at me like, why is she like wrapped it's in so a towel sobbing? It's embarrassing. Yeah, it's because they don't know. I mean, uh, how would they know, obviously? Mm -mm. And you're sitting there thinking everybody knows. Mm -hmm. Like, but you're, you almost feel like you're the last to know. Like, it's like, oh, everyone is looking at me probably knowing what's happening, mm -hmm. even though they don't. But mm -hmm. you're like, but maybe no, it's still okay. Like, yeah. it's still going to be okay. Like, mm -hmm. there's no way this is happening. Like, I'm good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's all in my head. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, gosh, there's a blood coming out. I feel it, like, dripping down my pants, and I'm just like, there's nowhere to sit. It was so full. Oh, my God. That's awful. And I remember, like, hugging Heath, and just, like, the cramps were the worst. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's literal labor. It is. It's no, labor. It gets worse when I get in the hospital. I know. When I get it into a bed. I didn't make it that far. Oh Anyways, no, we'll yeah. tell her story now. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I don't mean to no, interject. <laughs> I'm just standing like this is taking forever. Like this is bullshit. And then I eventually have to go to the bathroom. I'm like, I just need to go to the bathroom, like clean up a little bit. I wobble over to the fucking bathroom. I sit down and like a huge chunk comes out. And I I get up and I look and I swear it was right there. I'm sure because yeah yeah. I, I saw it. Because, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm sure. You know, this little feet. It's a it's little. A, I, I think it is at that point. I don't think it's still an embryo. I don't know. I don't know, but it looked like. It, it's, you, you can see the You form. can tell there's something it there. It looked like a tadpole. Like, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. I know this is TMI. I told you guys. <laughs> we did trigger warning it. 
We've come a long way since it, so we're able to at least. And talk that's another about thing. It. If we don't cry, it's because we've been through this. Well, yeah, yeah. Like and like we've shared our story a lot, and we talk about it still, and it's good to talk about things. And I think for me too, it would have helped if I she helped me tremendously. Mm-hmm. But thank God for her. But if I didn't have her, I would hope I could find something where someone talked about it. And people do, but like. Just more raw, like more like real, like this is really what happened. This is like who I am. Mm-hmm. Oh. But, but if we don't cry, that's why. Because I, but like, yeah, it's, we felt it. Yeah, we've we've been through we've it. been through it a while, and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we don't cry. It's not because we're not insensitive. It's just... No. But anyways, um, I saw it and I was like, what the fuck do I do? Yeah, you're helpless at that fucking I know. Yeah, you don't know what to do. And me and my traumatized mind, I flush the toilet. I mean, what the fuck do you do? I mean, that's what you do. That is what you do. But then they tell me later, you you should have grabbed it so we can test it for genetic testing. I was like, never, I've never heard that. Bitch. (laughs) Even when, like, the tissues coming out, they say. Talk about traumatic. Like, grab. Okay, so I know what's happening. Mm -hmm. Let me grab it. Oh, my. How do you. Your hand? Mm Mm-hmm. They even said, like, tissue. Like, no. you know how, like, the clumps come out? Yeah. There's no way I would have done that. So TMI. Anyway. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I, there's no. no fucking way. Mm. And so, like, yeah, I go in. I get my a triage meet. The nurses were so nice. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Hers is not. This, well, this isn't. This is this a way for one. <laughs> this is story one. Just wait for story two. Stay not, tuned. Oh, God. <laughs> They're like, oh, my God, sweetie, you're okay. I'm sobbing. I was a fucking mess. I'm a crier. Well, did you, I mean, <laughs> of course. It's very traumatic. Very traumatic. And I was crying. I was just like, I can't believe this. And they take all your vitals, blah, blah, blah. They're like, it's okay. It's okay. Like, you're fine. You're here. You're safe. Blah, blah, blah. Which I very much appreciated. And then you go and have an ultrasound. And that's when, like, huge tissue. I think that's when, like, a bunch of it mm-hmm. came out. Because I remember I sat up from it and I got up. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'm so sorry. But a huge clump just came out. Yeah. Because you and, never know. You don't know when you're done. And like, that's what, And you're not done for a couple days. <laughs> And that's when she was like, oh, my God, you need to keep that tissue. Like, I need to turn that into did you, testing. Did you keep it? The the ultrasound tech did. Oh, really? So she turned it in for, like, lab testing. I never got those results. But I was going to ask. I never knew that. I never knew that part. No. Yeah. So you never got results. They didn't say, no. like. This is why. Or... That's so weird. They just told me it just wasn't right. And that's what they all say, too. Like, well, it's not your fault. But mm-hmm. We don't know. But The, the chromosomes weren't right. Like, it just yeah. wasn't right. Like, your body just wasn't ready to handle it. Yes. Other, I'm like, okay, thanks. Wow, so I failed. <laughs> What's the French for? Thank you. Like, I get it. You know, it's like I get when someone says it wasn't right. Obviously, it wasn't right. Yeah. Like, come on. Don't be like, well, your body just wasn't ready. I was mm-hmm. like... You kind of get sick of hearing it. You know what I mean, too? It's kind of like, like, I know. I was ready if I got pregnant. Like, what the Yeah, hell? yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just like a bunch of tests, a bunch of waiting, and then finally got into a room, and yeah, it's legit labor. Like, the pain. Mm-hmm. They gave me so many pain meds. I had none. Oh, they took forever, though, to do that. Really? We were in the room, and like, I'm like screaming. I'm like, I can't mm-hmm. do this. For one, it's one thing if you're in labor with a full-term baby. Mm-hmm. Like, There's I told you. at the end. Mm-hmm. I told you, I was like. This would be easier if I knew I was going to have a fucking yeah. baby at this. But yeah. or no, I'm not. Like, oh, so, like, I was like, I can't take this. And they would not come to the room and give me a pain meds. So finally, I was like, Heath, like, say something. So he did. I'm surprised. I mean, if you were, like, I was screaming in the room. Like, why wouldn't they? And, like, the door was open. They can hear me. That's so weird. Finally, they came in and gave me, like, morphine or something. Okay. And I just felt, I was like, oh, my God, thank God. It's like getting, like, an epidural, I would think. Yeah. Um, how long were you in the hospital for? Seven hours. Okay. Um, so yeah. And then the, the doctor finally came in. She was like, she sat down. She was like, okay, you had a miscarriage. And I was just like, sobbing. I was like, I know. And she was like, you know, this is very common. I've had a miscarriage. Like, mm-hmm. I hope you're okay. Like, don't worry. You can try again. Like, she was very sweet. Which, that's nice, too, because I know that, like, you know it's common. You hear it, right? Not everybody. Like, I But, didn't... honestly, I never, like, really paid attention to that. Yeah, stuff. like, it's like, I, I think, like, after the fact, I was like, okay, maybe I've heard someone say something. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> like, a cel- I don't know, on TV or something. But it's yeah. like, it's nice when people that see that every day still treat you 
like, like this is human. your first pregnancy and yeah. you've lost it like and she was like very apologetic like i'm yeah, sorry this that's sucks. nice that that happens still out there can you see where this is going anyway <laughs> sorry <laughs> um this was very sweet and i felt very comforted and then knowing i had to tell my family because i knew i knew i was pregnant and like in the monitors on you and they can tell your heart rate and every oh. time i thought about telling my parents it was like Phew! it was just like you're yeah. freaking out man so finally i texted my mom she was out at my aunt's in thousand mm -hmm. oh like an hour and a half two hours away I'm like mom i'm in the hospital i, I lost the baby Please don't drive out if you're un upset or whatever. Like, take your time. I'm okay. Heath is with me. Like, it's okay. Like, so she was very sad. But, you know, I don't know exactly what happened. But I'm sure she cried. But they eventually got there and, like, came in. And I was like, don't look at the bed. There's so much blood. <laughs> um, But then they had to come in and, like, clean me out. God damn. That sucked. They did that too? Uh, yeah. The D... It wasn't. I don't it wasn't know. a D and C probably because you already yeah. passed it. So they probably just just went in there for good measure. <laughs> probably to make sure though that you had it all out because I think you can get an infection if you don't. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was so painful, like the most like deep pain. Did like, they numb you? No, I just had my morphine. Because I know for a D and C they either no. put you asleep, right, or do they mm -hmm. just numb you? I don't know. Anesthesia, like you local sleep, anesthesia. And, um, so that was very, very, very painful and traumatizing. And that was, like, the, that's when I was, like, new, like, yeah, bye, bye, yeah. baby, like, bye. You have to, like, finally, oh, sorry, come to terms with it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Did you have to go back for follow-ups, like, to make sure, mm -hmm. like, blood work? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, it, thankfully, everything got out. And, luckily, afterwards, after that, event she was successful mm-hmm so yeah went to my ob for a follow-up she was like oh you're back I, and i see what happened i was like yeah i remember being oh my god going back to that appointment <laughs> you're in that waiting room in the ob's room you see pregnant people yeah 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 here i am just lost a baby getting a follow-up of, like what the fuck happened right and, like, honestly, the next day after that, we were home. Me and my husband just laid in bed all day. We listened to music. We cried together. I screamed, I want my baby. This is not fair. We we didn't eat. I could not eat. Yeah. We just laid in bed, we listened to music, slept, listened to more music, cried. We were just, like, there with each other, like, going through the Which is good emotions. to be, to, you know, do it together. Mm -hmm. So, Yeah. But yeah, you go back to that follow-up appointment, and I was just like, mm, yeah, she was like, you know, wait for a cycle, you can try again. And Heath and I talked, and like, I was like, I want to try again, like, right away. Like, how, Which do, is you, good. Yeah. how do you feel about yeah. that? Yeah. And he was like, yeah, I'm totally down. Like, whatever you want, babe. Like, that's what I want. I want a baby with you. So with yeah, you. if you're okay with it, if your body's ready for it, if you feel, like, emotionally okay, then, like, let's do it. That's so good. Um... I thought his claws was your hand. I was like, oh, you want to cuddle? Well, I do. But <laughs> no. I haven't touched you yet. <laughs> so, yeah. A month and a half later, I got pregnant mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, a month and a half. She had a very healthy baby. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Now she's almost two. Now she's almost two. Yeah. So that's, yeah, it's really, I know. I was that's like, the other side so of crazy. it. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. It is possible, even if you feel discouraged, to not give up because you can have healthy, healthy. pregnancy. And it doesn't mean, like, you have to try right away. No, like, you don't. Definitely so people not. don't want to or can't handle and that's totally fine. But in my case, I, I want yeah, to be a mom. Yeah, she was ready. Yeah, and she was so ready. So bad. Like, my best friends have kids and, like, I just, like, they're you, my kids. You've said, too, for a while that, um, didn't you, like, for, like, a long time say that you knew for a, from, like, a younger age that you wanted oh, yeah. to be a mom? yeah. And so did Heath. His mom says at like 10, she was like, I want to be a dad so bad. I'm so excited so to be cute. a dad. It's so great to be Aunt Kelly to, mm -hmm. to their baby girl. So mm -hmm. cute. She's my she favorite. Loves her. She's my favorite. Like, no, I'm going to put the bias aside, which is hard to do. She's my favorite. <laughs> I love that girl. 
so yeah there's definitely positives um so let's just say i had the positive experience (laughs) unfortunately Uh, kelly had a not so positive experience but go ahead (laughs) so um yeah so i i don't think that this is this was a while ago things a lot of has changed since this story Mm -hmm. but um i don't think that we were really i can't remember if we were actively trying we had actively actively tried for a while and nothing had happened and i kind of like kind of gave up not gave up i said let's like give it a break and like yeah yeah, yeah. so then one day like i had no symptoms nothing it was the day i was supposed to start my period Mm -hmm. and i was going to go to palm springs with my mom and i was like you know what let me just rule it out that i'm not pregnant so i can drink (laughs) yeah so i can have a good time (laughs) and i took a pregnancy test and it said pregnant like it was the one that said the word Mm. and i was like that was a fancy one. What? I know. <laughs> well, because you know how many times I would look at the lines and, like, uh, see... You know, like, those are... I mean, they were. The phantom but, lines. <laughs> um, and so, I remember I went out and I told Eric, and I was like, I'm pregnant. And he was super excited. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying I wasn't excited. I was more scared. I've always kind of been fearful of being pregnant in general. Not necessarily the baby part. Mm-hmm. Just being my body changing. Like, being yeah. pregnant. I was like, I'm afraid. Yeah. So... That was received well. So I was, you know, I went, I called. I didn't really have a good, the, my doctor only was doing, got, like, gynecology. Is that what it is? Not the OB part. Or no, not the, not the baby part. Just the, like, the, the like, woman checkup. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I was like, well, now I don't know. So I chose a doctor. I, I mean, I didn't know anybody. I wasn't going to tell anybody yet because I was, like, mm-hmm. so early. Yeah. So I, like, went and I, like, looked at reviews of doctors. I found, like, one I thought was good. Mm-hmm. I called their office. They seemed super nice. Went and I made the appointment for, I guess it was like it was like I think like almost eight weeks. Mm-hmm. And she did like the obviously confirmed yes you're pregnant. They did like the little thing. I have I still have the ultrasound photo. You can fully see. Mm-hmm. And she's like we see the heartbeat, but we don't know what it is yet. Okay. Like what if it's strong or not because it's too early. Yeah. But they showed like the little blah blah, and I was like oh my god okay. <laughs> so I felt like good leaving the appointment. Um, I told my parents only. I didn't tell anybody else because, oh, sorry. <laughs> because I was just so, like, I don't know, nervous, I guess. You're like, I'm protecting your Kind heart. of, like, also not really sure, is this happening? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, There's yeah. a lot going it's through. It's very shocking. But I was excited. I was like, okay, cool. Like, awesome. Mm-hmm. Like, at that time, I was ready, you know? Yeah. And then, I would say, like, a week and a half after that appointment, I had the worst, the, like, sciatic nerve pain. Mm -hmm. shooting up my Mm -hmm. back my one of my sides like to the point where I just wanted to lay down and like stretch Mm -hmm. out and it didn't help Mm -hmm. I was like this isn't right this feels so weird Mm -hmm. and so I called it was like it got placed wrong like, yeah, you know how it, like gets into your like the wall. Yeah, like it was like and yeah, and it was like so strange. Like I had to keep like laying down, like to try to like get the pain to go away, and nothing mm-hmm. would fix it. It mm-hmm. was so bad. So I called the doctor, and I'm like, "Hi, like I'm having this pain." They're like, "Hi, <laughs> hi, it's me." Not okay. Yeah, and she's like, "Oh no, that's that's normal. Again, your body's growing, you're shifting." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, "Okay, fine." So this was like around when all this happened was like right before Christmas, and so I'm like, "Okay." So then, like it would have been. Yeah, week 11. So we had gone to the, uh, we had gone somewhere to look at Christmas lights. And I was like, okay. <laughs> this isn't funny, but it's just, there's, it's, a lot has changed since this. Yeah. Um, so, and we, that night we came back and I'm like, I kind of, I remember going to bed having cramps. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you know, Eric was like, it's just your body's shifting, like you're changing. And I was like, okay. So then like the next day too. Okay. The doctor, I called the doctor. Well, no, that's normal. You're just grow. Okay okay fine yeah. that next morning i go to the bathroom and i'm bleeding like mm-hmm. a period mm-hmm. and i'm like this isn't normal and i yeah. go back and i start like having like it feels like contraction what i i don't know but what i think labor pain feels like yeah and i'm like this isn't right Intense, Eric. <laughs> like cramp pain yeah and he's like no okay like okay and so i'm like when do i go to the hospital i'm freaking <laughs> out i'm like do yeah. i go now do i wait she's like so then the doctor's like well if you're soaking through a maxi pad an hour Girl. go and i'm like you so through 10 maxi pads I know. i'm like, like the maxi pads are doing <laughs> shit <laughs> so i'm like okay so i keep going like i i just you just know you just like it sounds gross but you just your body's you feel it going you're passing yeah so it's then like you're pooping 
So it's happening, and I'm supposed to be like working that the same. I was working at home at the time. I'm trying to work still. Oh, you're supposed I to think I took that day off. <laughs> I took that day off because I'm like, I don't feel well. Well, yeah, and you can't tell them. I like, know, because they hey. don't know. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, so then I keep going to the bathroom. Like, it's still just like a period, but I'm like, this is heavy. Mm-hmm. So I'm, we made the decision to go to the hospital. Again, I'm like waddling because you feel so uncomfortable. And mm-hmm. the hospital I went to was further. So mm-hmm. because that doctor I chose was affiliated with a, a, a hospital that wasn't How the same How long did it take one. you to get there? Half an hour. Oh, no. Mine took 10 minutes. I'm, I was like, dying. My legs were, like, curled. I was in the fetal position. Oh. Literally screaming because Yours it's, like... Yours happened fast then. Mine no. was, like, very gradual. Like, the cramps, oh, the, like, That all happened spotty. quick, but my whole thing ended over a week. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so then I get... We get to the hospital. We go to the emergency room. Yeah, we wait in the emergency room for, like, an hour. They call me one way to do this blood test. Call you in to do this oh. other thing. Let me do... And you know what's also really heartbreaking is when they're doing the like the ultrasound, which is gross too, by the way, because you're you're bleeding Gushing blood. and they still do it, yeah. and like you know, and like you know that the doctor, and by the way, the guy, it was a guy, fun, <laughs> who was doing it and in the hall before he did was like, oh yeah, my wife, oh, yeah, she's pregnant, blah blah. So I'm hearing this, knowing I am oh, not. No. <laughs> So they did it, whatever, and then I'm, I'm waiting. And so they, they call me in. We're sitting there. And so whoever, the doctor, whoever comes in, well, um, we don't see a pregnancy. This is what they say to me. We don't see a pregnancy. And I was like, like okay, was so what do you see then? And they're like, we see a really dark, like, line, which was, like, the tissue. Yeah. We just see dark matter. We don't see any indication of a pregnancy. So, so I'm you like, already passed it? No, it was, like... No, I didn't yet. Oh, you did. This was on a sun. This was on a Monday morning. Okay, this is like so. There's a timeline. Monday morning, I'm in the hospital. So there, I'm like, well, okay. So what happens next? So like, you just have to go home. I never was admitted. I never got paid meds. I never was told I'm really sorry. I was told this happens all the time. My doctor called me and told me this happens all the time. Hmm. And then I was like, okay. So then, I go home with a paper that tells me I'm not pregnant. That's it. Not anything else. Not like, let's make sure you're okay. like not infected. Yeah. <laughs> like, did you pass? I was like, well, did I like, am I done? Like, yeah. and they were like, well, we don't know. You're gonna have to go home and just like, it'll, it'll happen. Did you have a follow up? So I had a follow up <laughs> like a week and a half later. So I, <laughs> how was the next day? I, no. So then I go home and like, I mean, this sounds dumb, but it's like, I didn't know at the time. But so we'll talk about infection. Jesus. I know. So I go home. And I literally, uh-huh. Monday night, Monday, Tuesday, cramps, like, in the worst pain of my life. Yeah. Cramps, bleeding. Wednesday continues. Mm-hmm. Wednesday, it gets worse, where it's more clotting. And I'm like, um. Thursday? That's when it happened. Because I remember, I was like, Eric, like, I can't even, like, look. Can you just, like, something's uh, wrong. Yeah. And he's like, okay, yeah, like. So, by the way, I worked through all of this because I didn't know that's what to crazy. do. I called out. I was like, bye, bitch. No, and I, sh- I should have. Like, that's dumb. But I just didn't know what to do. Part of me just didn't want to sit. And that's kind of like Wallow. my problem. And that's, I should have. Because I don't think I ever really, I don't know. Welcome to my remote phone. Who can do He's He knows we're talking about sensitive things. He's an emotional support animal, so. I know. <laughs> So, like, it, it didn't happen. It went from a Sunday to a, a Thursday. And my doctor didn't even follow. I didn't even see her. I went to um, the lab again to do a, another ultrasound. Yeah, that's and the your, blood work. The, your HCG Yeah, or whatever. and they can tell. When they do the um, the vaginal one again, they can see that there's nothing like in there. Because I was afraid they'd have to do a DNC. So, and I, so that's the other thing. I called, like, on Tuesday and I'm, or on Wednesday, and I'm like, Look, like I'm still going. Like, what do I do? Yeah, like, yeah. she's like, well, what do you want to do? She's like, you're like, do I you, don't know. She's like, do you want to take a pill that'll get rid of it all? I'm yeah, like, there's a pill. For but it me. sounds like I'm already doing that, so no. Yeah, it's like a, it's almost like a, kind of like an abortion pill. I think. It is, I think so. Um, and then number it could two, be wrong. Yeah, I'm not sure, <laughs> but it's, it's that's what it, she kind of like made it seem like you just like take it and it all flushes it out. And I heard that's painful as <sighs> shit. She's like, or you can do a DNC where we put you to sleep, and I'm like, well, I, do I need it? Like, I don't yeah. know. So it was just, I didn't have a lot of like, I didn't share a lot. I didn't tell anybody about it. Hey, you it. never announced or anything? No, and I didn't even really tell anybody. Which like, good for you because I was kind of embarrassed. I was like, I announced on Saturday, Sunday, went to work on Monday with a shirt saying, surprise, I'm pregnant. 
that's fucking Wednesday it, I lose it and I'm like yeah. how embarrassing like part of me felt like people probably think I was lying I just wanted attention like it was very embarrassing was, which if hard. I get pregnant the next pregnancy if it happens like I'm not announcing till like yeah I'm like 25 weeks yeah yeah I didn't really tell anybody like my mom like no one really knew what to do like my mom had never had one yeah. um so she was just like I don't know what to say except like I'm sorry like what and so um I didn't want to try again like I felt like my body I wasn't mentally ready my yeah. body wasn't really ready I felt mad at my body like mm-hmm. I failed which isn't true it's true like in a sense but like it's not like Do I you can't think if like the experience is different with like the doctors maybe would you maybe have probably yeah. maybe but then I look back and go well yeah your partner at the time was him. My partner. <laughs> yeah, like it. It was. It was just hard. Yeah. And it was hard too because, like, at the time, my partner, like, he was there and he was very supportive. But then I find out later, like, I was resented for not trying sooner. Um. And and that's another thing too. I like would want to say like just don't let anyone pressure you into trying again. Like mm-hmm. I don't have any ch- children. I probably won't have, and that's my choice. I'm I'm okay with it. Mm-hmm. But, you know, like, don't let your partner pressure you. It's your body. You, yes, you both go through it, but you physically, you physically do it. And mental, it's just, it's different. It's It's, hard for a woman. It's hard. More emotion, because you you physically knew that that was happening. Mm -hmm. You know, so don't let anyone pressure you into being like, let's try again. Like, what's wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with you. You're not ready. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah, because I, I didn't try again. Yeah. I haven't tried again and maybe it would happen maybe it wouldn't I don't know it was hard in the beginning to even get pregnant so I don't know if same yeah it was like a year yeah it was like about a year too so that's how we like connected because I was like she was very open on Facebook I wasn't but I saw it and I was like um she was just like hey Megan this is Kelly from high school hope you remember me she was like so I like been following your like journey on like your miscarriage and I just went through it too and I was like oh shit like it's so crazy like because I was so open like so many people messaged me yeah like people that like I was like shocked yeah yeah because you don't and so like people are like I've been through three in a row and I'm like oh my god like I could not imagine no I couldn't imagine going through three and I'm not gonna lie my when I finally got pregnant with my daughter now like I was so depressed the whole mm-hmm. pregnancy. I was like anxiety ridden. Like yeah. every day, I was like, "Am I still pregnant? Like, am yeah, I gonna spot today?" Thing. Yeah, you almost think you're seeing it. Mm-hmm. Well, I did spot a couple times. It was lighter, but yeah, I remember you were like, "Oh my god, I'm kind of spotting." I'm like, "Okay, it's gonna be okay. Yeah, you're fine. It's fine. I'm like, okay." It was just so scary. And thank God for Heath. I mean, I yeah. remember being in the hospital and I went to the bathroom to like clean up, and he like wiped me. Like, yeah, he did a lot of stuff that was like gross, and he hates that shit. Yeah. So you definitely, like, that's when you really find out, like, okay, <laughs> your partner and, like, their intentions and, I don't know. Yeah. Like, at the time, like, it, my his intentions were good. He was there for me. I just, it's sad. Over time, it affected him o- differently. Over time, I, yeah, he told me, I think, and to each their own, like, he told me he was okay with me waiting, and I find out, like, when other things hit the fan that he wasn't, and, you know, I'm just... I'm okay with it. I like being Aunt, I like being Aunt Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I just. Yeah. It's but it's crazy because like I she, I remember she was like oh yeah I remember seeing like you posted something I think about the hospital and I was like I never went into a hospital bed I'm thinking like I just oh, yeah. got sent home basically like good luck yeah like you'll figure it out just I wonder too if they admitted me because I was so like were you emotional in the hospital yeah I was like a fucking wreck yeah. It's, like, weird. Like, is that because... Is that why they admitted me or not? Like, I don't, I don't know. know. Like, I don't think I was fully admitted, but I was definitely in a bed in a room. But it wasn't, mm-hmm. like, overnight or anything. I was there for six hours. I was there mainly for waiting, but, like, it wasn't like I was in a bed or anything. Yeah. They literally just would pull me out of the waiting room to be, like, vital. Pull me out. Okay, go back and wait. Okay, come back. We're doing this ultrasound. Yeah. Okay, go back. And then See, was I like, was in triage for a while. Then I did the ultrasound, and then I went to a room. Okay. Yeah, I never went to a room. And then mm-hmm. I only went to this, like, little area when the, they came in and handed me a worksheet that said, worksheet. well, you're not pregnant. Here's what you do. Stay home and... 
So a note to the care providers during this, be a little, yeah. have bedside manner and be Cause empathetic. I know that, the, I know it can be with any job when you do it for so long or you see it for so long. It's just like robotic. But like for a lot of, especially first time moms, it's like, this is our first time. Yeah. You're excited about, you think your life's about to change and you start preparing for that. And it's then just a letdown. And then this happens and it's changing again rapidly in the wrong direction. Like the last yeah. thing you need to hear is just like, well, yeah, you yeah. had a miscarriage. So yeah. it happens all the time. Yeah. I think maybe too, because we're that early, maybe that's why they said it. Like, it's different if you're like 20, 25 weeks. True. Or I just don't like, think like 11. Like, you, like you're so close weeks. to be like, oh, I'm fine. Yeah, people at like 13 are like, I'm golden. Like, my yeah. baby's already the size of a, I don't know. Yeah. But... <laughs> yeah, it's hard. Yeah. But that brought us together. That's a positive in it. And a mm-hmm. positive is also their daughter. So there's definitely a lot of positives. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's just. Hopefully, if you, anyone out there goes through it, you have a good support system. And definitely take time for yourself. Definitely afterwards. feel like, yeah, go, go through, through like the emotions. Because I think that's what helped me. I took a straight fucking two weeks off. I, I went done. back early. I went back like a week and a half. And I told my supervisor or whatever, I was like, I can't. Like, I need to go home. She's like, do what you have to do. And thank God my job is like flexible. Yeah. I went home and I was just like, I just went home and cried. I could not be at work. Because yeah. like, I found out I was pregnant at work too. Oh, yeah. So it was just like... And then I had, like, my mints because I was nauseous and, like, my little snacks. Yeah, and you just, just like, need snacks. And you just see it and you're just, like, I'm, like, last time I was here, I was fucking pregnant yeah. and happy and, like, everything's cool. Your whole mindset change is you have to, like, get – it's just weird. It's it's a lot. So if you are going through it, if you've been through it, if yeah. you're pregnant and scared, I don't know. I hope this video, like, kind of helped you. Yeah, and kind of let you know, too, like, you may have a, a better experience at a hospital than yeah. another, but – um it'll it'll get better at some point and like reach out to people for sure definitely even online like there's forums and stuff there's facebook groups there's facebook groups just like read even if you don't reach out just read through posts and you'll feel like you're not alone like it's not just you it happens in one in three now i think think it used to be one in four it used to be one in four it's one in three now it's one in three so it happens a lot i know people have gone through six in the freaking row which and they're like uh, not you know they're like healthy people you mm, look at them and you think like oh they're that's why i thought too i was like oh it's because i'm overweight same i'm overweight too we're way the same (laughs) we're twins Twins. (laughs) (laughs) but yeah so yeah today was kind of a heavy video but i wanted us to share it yeah me too and i'm so full on this rice and pasta dude i ate like i ate everything (laughs) and she has i ate everything but like well i ate like Five of the chicken. I ate like two things of this rice. I'm just like I'm full. <laughs> so full. Uh, <laughs> that's not the content you signed up for. That's the content you're getting on this channel. <laughs> Get ready for it. Get ready, girl. <laughs> um. So yeah, this floor is uncomfortable. But yeah, but it's such a good like it's a good setup though. Yeah. So oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys have more questions leave them in the yeah. comments if you want to know more like details about like you know like more about like emotionally how we recovered you can ask mm-hmm. and we'll do another video but that's the basic gist of how we experience our miscarriage yeah. and definitely and interesting to like just to tell the different perspectives yeah 100 yeah, sure. um so yeah if you want to ask questions maybe questions for like my husband um yeah and then get his perspective yeah that's a good one too um yeah, because that's a good one, too. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of, like, guys out there are, like, totally silent and going through it, too. Cause well, because, yeah, know. the whole time he was like, oh, I've been, I like, I'm, he didn't really show that much emotion. He was just more like, hey, are you okay? What yeah. can I do for you? And then he drove home to get me, like, clothes, mm-hmm. like, yoga pants and stuff, because mine were obviously bloody. And he came, he came in the hospital and he was like, I, I broke down going home, but I'm okay now. I'm here for you. I'm ready for you. I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like they know they need to be the rock, which is good, but yeah. it might be a good that might be a good idea too. Yeah. So Yes. So next video will be maybe happier. Yeah, maybe we'll do like a um maybe we could like write like write out some questions and like we'll pick one or like we'll do a drink. Something mm-hmm. with like a game. Yeah. Um maybe like would you rather because that was just hilarious. <laughs> I think we could get a lot a lot done from that. And if you don't know what we're talking about, watch my other videos. Yeah, please do because they're it great. Was pretty funny. I watch them all the time. Over <laughs> no, I, and over and, and I laugh so hard. They're funny. Watch them. Like and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Thanks. Do it. 
<laughs> you know you want to. I know you're watching right now. Click it. <laughs> click the like. Click it or tick it. Click the subscribe. Click the bell. You know what? Do all three. <laughs> We're going to go take another shot and have We're gonna drink take another shot. We're going to drink and chill. Girl talk. Girl talk. And not about our vagina. No. Oh, well. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> all right thanks all right. for watching bye and guys I need to reach this oh honey ah! <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs>